Rose Zhang started the day with a seven shot lead, trying to become the 10th freshman to win the individual title on the women's side. And Paige, her second into the second, she's been spot on all week. Yeah, it really has been a clinic in course management throughout the week. Uh, on this golf course, it's not rewarding a ton of length. It's about picking your positions and making sure you're putting yourself in those good spots on the greens. She would then cash in for her birdie at the second. This would get her to 10 under par, trying to become the sixth player to win the U.S. Amateur and the NCAA individual. Then a nice par save at the par five fourth. Yeah, found a little trouble trying to get up and down when she tried to reach this green in two, but able to walk away with a par. Well, she short-sided herself at the fifth and with a buried line, not much she could do with it. Yeah, a little bit unlucky in how the ball ended up. She has 71 yards here. It'd be great to get this one close and maybe get one shot back. And she does just that, so she'll have a look for a bounce back birdie. A good drive is critical here. And if you see those fairway bunkers on the right side, that is the perfect aim. Just right center of that fairway to give you a perfect line into the green. Nothing ever seems rushed with her. Taking a look at it through our top tracer technology. Oh yeah, good one. We see her looking down the left center of the fairway. Gives her a great angle into the green. And that is right on her line. Rose one over on a round today. She might be picking out a number just over the front edge, knowing that there's going to be release. There's a fall off there, and that might Yep, yeah, that's going to go all the way down. She has um, really been loose since the fourth hole, the par five when she was hole high in two and wound up having to make about a 12 footer just to save par, made double at the fifth and just has not been as sharp. This would be a huge momentum kind of keeper if she could make this. I think one of the most difficult parts about playing when you have a lead is keeping your composure when things aren't really going the way you planned. Nice roll. So bogey five. 83 yards for Rose. Ooh. Wow. I I'm shocking. Shocked. Not and used it, to that. Well, and it, it was such an opportunity for Rose to just kind of turn the tide. It's been a lot of momentum in Park's favor. This is a, a green light opportunity for a par five, and all of a sudden now, momentum still on Park's side. But all the flow lines are going away from her on this chip, so it's going to be very fast. Pretty good, but that three and a half, four footer coming back. This is a lot of stress today. It's just been a, a really stressful day to watch. I don't see her miss a lot of these putts. She's very solid, which is why she's really good at scrambling. We did see her miss that par putt on 10, but not a lot to this, this putt here. But a lot of pressure on the line. Really good. 130 to the front, 156 to the hole, 163 to the back. Oh, what a line. Yeah. That's the Rose shot we know and love. Yeah, and that's what's so impressive about Rose. She always is going to hit some kind of dart, and this was quite a dart here. Just three feet for her birdie. She left the door open. Park never stepped through it. Only oh, her right. second birdie of the day, but it comes at 13. Huge for Rose Zhang. She's now at seven under, and her lead is four. This is a pretty long hole for them, playing 415 into the wind. Great line here.
Rose Zhang, short one for par. Amy Bond, happy head coach for Florida State. And Rose in with her three, so a couple of holes remaining. And it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride for the top ranked amateur in the world. But ultimately, heading to 17 with a three shot lead. And now, the celebration will begin as Rose Zhang finishes off this putt for par. She's giving her teammates the thumbs up. This for the national championship. Yeah. Number one in the world and number one in the NCAAs. Rose Zhang becomes the 10th freshman to win the NCAA Women's Individual Championship. Yeah. <laughs> Standing by with Steve Burkowski. Bob alongside Rose Zhang and Julie Manning, the chair of the NCAA Division I Women's Golf Committee. And Julie, I know you have a special presentation to our champion. Well, I sure do. Uh, on behalf of the NCAA and the NCAA Women's Golf Committee, it is absolutely my pleasure to present the 2022 NCAA Division I Women's Golf Championship Trophy to Rose Zhang from Stanford University. Thank you. Congratulations. Rose, you started the day with a seven-shot lead, extended it to nine early. You made it interesting on the back nine. The advantage was down to three. How did you deal with the ebbs and flows of this final round here today? Yes, it was definitely very difficult. I saw every single inch of that golf course that I didn't see the first three days. But um, just being here now and knowing that I grinded through with my C game, um, I'm just so thankful to be here. And just having my teammates on the green and with coach walking um, alongside me, um, it's truly a blessing. Externally, you looked cool as a cucumber. Internally, what were those emotions like as you tried to grind it out coming down the stretch? Yes, um, it was definitely a little frustrating that I didn't really hit where I wanted to on a couple areas on the golf course, but just being able to keep myself cool, calm, and collected, I was able to kind of just carry through the round and try to make every single putt I could. Um, and it was just a brutal grind, but um, I'm here now. When you started Stanford last fall, where did this moment right now as an NCAA individual champ rank, rank in terms of your goals and what it took to actually get here to achieve it? I think I, I can't even explain um, how important this is to me. Um, just being able to be at Stanford and um, being able to fr thrive with so many amazing people that I met there, um, that on its own is truly amazing. And just being able to be a national champion um, representing Stanford, um, it's a lifetime goal. And I feel like um, it was accomplished today. It certainly was. Rose, congratulations on an amazing week. Thank you so much. <laughs>